Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create a bottom navigation with fragments. So let's get started by choosing an empty activity, then click on next. Now name the activity as bottom navigation and keep the language as Java, then click on finish. First click on resource folder, then go to colors.xml. Now duplicate the line using Ctrl plus D and name the color as Lavender and hex value as 8692F7. Next go to themes.xml and change the parent theme from dark action bar to no action bar. It is optional, if you want action bar then don't change it. Then change the color primary as Lavender and color primary variant also as lavender. So basically it will change the color of the action bar and the status bar as lavender. Next go to build.gradle module. Here we will add view binding feature. And keep it as true. A lot of people have confusion with view binding. So let me simplify it for you. So basically view binding refer to XML UI components. In simple words, in main activity, we use to write find view by ID and then refer variable with each XML UI component, right? That takes a lot of time. So instead of that, all you have to do is declare the binding in main activity and later, whenever you want to use an UI component, then just call binding and it will automatically going to refer the exact UI component. Once I'll write binding code in main activity, then I'll show you how it works, okay? Now let's close all the tabs and add icon in the drawable folder. So right click on it, then new and then vector asset. We will require five icons, home, watch short, subscription, video library and add icon. So let me just quickly add all of them. Next, we will create a menu with all the five menu items in it. So right click on resource folder, then click on new and then Android resource directory. Name the directory as menu, then change the resource type as menu and then click on OK. Now right click on the menu directory which we just created. Name the file as bottom menu and then click OK. Here we will start creating menu items. Okay, so the very first item is home. We will give it an ID. Title. And its designated icon. And the same way we will do it for shorts as well. Then third, we will create a fab that is floating action button with no title. Okay. And I have kept enabled as false, but if you want to make fab clickable, then keep it as true. And then let me create a subscriptions and video library the same way. And we are done. Now go to activity main.xml. We will use coordinator layout instead of constraint layout.
and add the background color as lavender. As we are using fragments, hence frame layout will be required. So keep the ID as frame underscore layout. And that's it. Now we will create a bottom app bar. So make sure that you have material dependency present in your Gradle file. Okay. We are using it for floating action button. So fab cradle margin means the distance between the fab and the other element. And fab cradle rounded corner radius is 50 dp. Next we will use bottom navigation view. So I have kept the label visibility as labeled which means the text will be visible under the icon. But if you want you can keep it as unlabeled. Then I have kept the background as transparent. It's because our actual background is white that is from bottom map bar. Okay. Then add the bottom menu which we created in the menu directory. See we are creating a floating button effect right. Hence we have to use bottom map bar as well as bottom navigation. Otherwise for a simple design bottom navigation view is enough. Now let's create a floating action button. Give the background color as white and icon as well. So with the help of bottom map bar, we were able to create a fab cradle margin and fab corner radius that we will anchor it means attached it with the floating action button to create that effect, right? Then I'll increase the icon size to 40 dp and icon color as lavender. Perfect. So we are done with the designing part. Now it's time for creating all the fragments. Right click on package name, then new, then fragment and then fragment blank. Name it as home fragment and click finish. Same way we will create other fragments as well. So let me quickly do that. Then I will remove all the unnecessary fragment code from all the fragments. Now let me quickly create a presentable fragment. So I'll just add the background color and text and then the same way I will do it for all the other fragments as well.
So it's done and now let's move to main activity. As I previously said, we are using binding. So in whichever activity you are working on, you are supposed to create a respective binding activity. For example, we are using binding in main activity. Hence, it will be activity main binding, right? Or if we are using binding in login activity, then it will be activity login binding. Got it, right? Now, in fade activity main binding and store it in binding variable that we will be using in set content view. So instead of calling activity main.xml, we will directly going to call root of it. So it is going to be like binding.getRoot. Simple, right? It will save your time of writing find view by ID for every UI element. Now all you have to write binding dot and all the list of UI elements will be present. So we choose bottom navigation view. Okay. And as we have used transparent background in bottom navigation view, hence we will set the background as null. Now we will create a replace fragment method that will replace the fragments when we click the button. So define a parameter as fragment. And then call fragment manager. And fragment transaction as well. We will use replace matter that will replace the fragments on frame layout. In simple words, with the help of frame layout, only fragments will change or replace each other. But bottom navigation will be as it is. Okay. Then we will call replace fragment in the on create matter. So it says when we open the app, so the very first fragment should always be home fragment. Got it? Now let's set on item selected listener on each of them to make them clickable. Here we will be using switch case that will take item ID of each menu item from bottom menu. Okay. So our first case is home. If the user click on home icon, then it will display home fragment. Then next case is shorts. So if the user click on shorts icon, then it will display shorts fragment. And the same way, let me quickly create for subscription as well as for video library. And with that said, we are done with the project. Now let me quickly run it. It looks great and it also works perfectly. As you can see, the bottom navigation is in the same place and only fragments are replacing each other when their respective icon is clicked. So yeah, that is it for the video. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.